Hello, my name is David Beaton, and I'm here to discuss the difference between the terms accuracy and precision. Uh, these two concepts are discussed on page three of the Applied Mathematics textbook, where it states that precision refers to the detail of an answer, while accuracy is concerned with the correctness of an answer. In the, in the textbook, these two concepts are being discussed in conjunction with estimating and rounding numbers. Estimating numbers would be a fair description of being accurate and can be done to any place value desired. And in fact, it's easier to do estimating when it's not precise. Uh, rounding numbers, on the other hand, involves a, spe a specified place value or a precise place value. Uh, an easier way for me to think about this would be that accuracy would mean that your measurement would be close to a standard measurement, while precision would mean that your measurement would be similar every time you measured it. So I hope that made sense. Uh, it's starting to make sense to me. So um, my real life scenario in the power industry uh, would be to compare these two concepts uh, to the calibration and the function of a torque wrench. Um, in the power industry, there's many nuts and bolts on important equipment that has to be that has a specified set of torque settings that they have to be tightened to to ensure that they function properly so um, when the gears start wearing in these snap style torque wrenches uh, the precision gets bad so let's say you're calibrating your torque wrench and calibrating it to uh, 40 foot pounds um, if you click it 10 times and an average and average the 10 readings and arrive at a number to put on your calibration report and and send it back with the wrench um, you know if you're just averaging the the um, the pulls, uh, it's, it's going to be accurate, but it's not going to be precise. Uh, say that your, your first pull of the wrench clicks at 50, and then the next click, the next time you pull the wrench, it clicks at 30, and, and so on until you reach 10 pulls. Uh, the average values are going to come out to be 40. That's perfectly accurate but your wrench may never have clicked, actually clicked at 40. So uh, when you use this wrench, it's not going to give you a precise reading. It's not going to be precisely 40 pound, foot pounds, which is what you want in a, in a torque wrench. So that's my explanation. Uh, thank you.